So recently we've been doing a lot of work with uh, dates and formatting dates in shell scripts. We looked at uh, looping through dates. We looked at a firefighter schedule where you have 24 on, 40 off, so a three day, a three shift schedule and figuring out what shift today is. Well, today we're gonna be looking at figuring out do I work this Christmas? Again, as a firefighter, if I don't change shifts, I can predict out every day I work until I retire. So I'd be able to look at any year and see ahead of time, am I gonna work Christmas? Because there's a, a good chance that I will have to. So let's dive right in. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna use Vim as my text editor. Use whatever text editor you prefer for writing code. Uh, just make sure it's not a Word document editor because that is different than a text editor. I'm gonna go in here and this is going to be a bash script, although this should work with pretty much all shells. But we're gonna give it a shebang line. At this point now, we need to give it uh, variables for A, B, and C shift. Again, my department has a 24 on, 48 off uh, schedule. So we have A, B, and C shift. Here are dates that I know are A, B, and C shift. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I wrote this script a while ago. One thing I might change is instead of calculating this out for A, B, and C, I would put in a date for A shift and then for B shift and C shift, add one and two days to it. Mainly for if you work at a different department, you can set a different date and you don't have to change all three, you would only have to change one. But what we're doing here is the dollar sign and parentheses is saying we're gonna run, everything in between this is a command and whatever the output is, we're putting into this variable. And we're saying, okay, look at this date and at midnight on that date, give us the number of seconds since January 1st, 1970. Uh, so that would be your epoch or Unix timestamp there. And then we also need to get the date for Christmas so we can do math on that. So I'm gonna set a variable called Christmas. And again, we're running date. This plus F says whatever date I give, just give us a formatted date for midnight uh, on that date. Uh, and right here I'm saying 1225 because Christmas always falls on December 25th. Uh, and if I don't give it a year, it assumes I mean this year. So we'll, we will always start at the current year and move forward. Next, we're gonna do a for loop. So here I'm saying uh, loop through these numbers, zero through 10. So in bash, the curly braces here will say, take this number and go through this number one uh, digit at a time. And we're gonna put that in a variable called i, which we're not even gonna really use. Uh, we could, but we're just gonna add one each time. Okay, so, and then we're done. So everything inside this loop is gonna happen 10 times. Now in the previous video, we did some math and we replaced our original A, B, and C variables. Well, we can't replace those because we need to use those each time we loop this time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just create a variable called A, A, B, B, and C, C. So there we go, A, A, B, B, and C, C. And uh, again, uh, in here, I'm calculating out date for Christmas in seconds each time. Really, if I wanted to be more efficient, I would actually calculate out this once, put it in a variable, and not have to calculate it again. So we're using a little more processing power than we need, but this isn't a very labor intensive code. I'm just letting you know that there is a better way of doing this if you needed to improve upon it. But what are we doing? Okay, so again, uh, inside the dollar sign and outer brackets, we're saying we're gonna run some commands, the output of that go into this variable, the inner uh, uh, parentheses says we're doing some math and then we have these back ticks which is also saying we're running command with inside this command and again it's the date command we're getting the number of seconds since January 1st 1970 for Christmas we're going to take that number and subtract our a shift seconds okay then we're going to divide that what are we going to divide it by we're going to divide it by the number of seconds in a day well there's 24 hours in a day and we're multiplying that by uh, th uh, 3600 because there's 3,600 seconds in an hour. So that gives us the number of seconds a day. Of course, you can do that math and just put that number in there and then the computer doesn't have to do the math. But uh, if you can't remember how many seconds are in a day, you can do, you can do 60 times 60 uh, times 24, or whatever you need to do to get that number. What are we doing once we get that? We're subtracting those dates, getting the number of uh, seconds in a day and dividing that. Then we're going to say uh, this percent sign says divide by three, but we're not getting uh, what is divided by three? This is saying, give us the remainder. And out of these three, A, B, and C shift, only one of them should be zero. And that would be the day that falls on Christmas or whatever date we're giving it. Next, we're going to check those numbers and we're going to print some output if the value is zero. So here we're going to say inside these uh, brackets, we're saying, okay, does A, A equal zero? Does B, B equal zero? Or does C, C equal zero? Only one of those should be true. Whichever one is true, the ampersand ampersand saying if the last command is true, 
then echo out this, either A, B, or C shift is Christmas. Next, we're going to replace the Christmas command. We're going to say Christmas, or Christmas variable, equals date, and then we're going to take the current date of Christmas for this year, and we're going to add one year to it, and we're going to format it like this. Uh, in reality, uh, that's basically, in this context, doing the same thing as this plus F. So I'm being a little inconsistent here. I probably should have done it the same as up here just to be consistent. But basically, just realize that we're adding one to Christmas, and then we're going to loop around again. And that's it. That's our entire code. We're going to save that, make it executable, and then just run it. And again, no matter what year this is, it's going to start at the current year and iterate through that for 10 years. And as you can see here, we got 2021, 2022, 23, 24, all the way through 31. Um, so really, we're getting 11 years this year and, and the next 10, right? Did I do my, my accounting right there? And as you can see, this year, B shift works. Now, I work on A shift, so I work Christmas next year. And then C shift, C shift, B shift, A shift, C C shift c shift b shift a shift now you you might notice that c shift gets a little it gets uh, gets the shaft it's <laughs> they get screwed a little bit and why is that you might think i'll give you a moment to think about that if you said leap year you are correct see now not all holidays fall on a particular day you may know that like thanksgiving changes it's not on the same exact date each year but a lot of holidays are and uh, if you work Christmas, that means you work uh, a few of the big holidays. So, and Christmas is usually being one of the biggest ones. So C shift, because of leap year, ends up working the big holidays two years in a row. <laughs> Sucks to be them, right? Uh, so I know my script is working because it's showing that. So here I can uh, look out the next 10 years, 20 years, 100 years. And if I don't change shifts, uh, I can know what years I'm going to work Christmas and I can plan accordingly. So I know next year I work Christmas, uh, and then um, 2026, I'll be working Christmas, and then 2030, I'll be working Christmas. So I can try to put in and get those days off, but a limited number of people can be off each shift. If I'm unable to get my request in on time before other people take it off, uh, we can also do a thing called shift exchanges. Now, this doesn't have to do anything with coding, but I thought I'd let you know about this. So since we work this, this regular schedule and I will be scheduled to work Christmas. Everyone on A shift is scheduled to work Christmas unless they get in their request before the spots are taken up. Uh, what if you need Christmas off? Well, we can do things called shift exchanges or shift swaps. Uh, so I can go to somebody on another shift, C shift or B shift, and I can say, hey, can you work Christmas for me? And they can say, yeah, I'll work Christmas for you. Then I'll owe them a day. And then when they need a day off in the future, I'll work for them. And uh, that's how that works. Anyway, I hope you found this useful and interesting. And even if you're not a firefighter, maybe there's something in this code. Uh, you, can use, you can use this code for something else, or you just learned something about calculating dates. Either way, there'll be a link in the description of this video where you can go and download this script and give it a try yourself. I thank you for watching, and as always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.